Hi guys. So one hotly discussed piece of news in China over the last couple of days is this picture. When you visit a 3,000-year-old temple in Egypt or Aiji, you probably wouldn't expect to see these Chinese characters etched into the stone. The characters say Ding Jing Hao. And they were scratched into the stone of the Luxor Temple. So is this new evidence that Zhongguo Ren were hanging out with Aiji Ren thousands of years ago? Well, not quite. These words actually mean Ding Jing Hao was here. Ding Jing Hao is the name of a mainland Chinese tourist or Lü Ke, and Dao Zi Yo means was here. Dao is arrived, Zi is here, Yi is one, and Yo is trip. So what we're seeing isn't archaeological wonderment. It's an example of Lü Ke behaving badly. But carving Dao Zi Yo to say you've been to somewhere isn't new. This actually comes from one of the Chinese literary classics Xi Yo Ji or Journey to the West, and it was made into a TV series in the 1980s. You see, Sun Wukong, the monkey king, was so sure of his abilities, he made a bet with Ru Lai Fu or Buddha Tathagata that he would be able to escape the Buddha's palm. With a giant flip, Sun Wukong saw five stones in front of him and thought this has to be the edge of heaven. So he wrote Sun Wukong Dao Zi Yo, or the monkey king was here. He also uh, did his business on the rock. <laughs> then he did another flip to go back to gloat to Ru Lai Fu, but lo and behold, what he thought were rocks were actually Ru Lai Fu's five fingers. So the story was really about teaching Sun Wukong to be humble, but Chinese viewers learned their own lesson. What a great way to make sure everyone knows that you've been to somewhere, and thus so and so Dao Zi Yo has been written around the world by misbehaving Lü Ke. This was etched on a brass tub at the Beijing Palace Museum earlier this year, Liang Qi Qi Dao Zi Yo. So back to this Ding Jing Hao, he wanted everyone to know he's been to Aiji, well now everyone knows, but no one is impressed. Another Chinese Lü Ke who visited the Luxor temple took a photo of what Ding left behind. He posted it on his Weibo account, the Chinese version of Twitter. He says seeing these seven Chinese characters was quote, the saddest and most shameful moment that he had in Aiji. The picture has since gone viral on Weibo with outraged Wang Ming or netizens hunting down this Ding Jing Hao. They discovered that he was a 15-year-old boy from Nanjing. He now has instant notoriety, and his parents are forced to apologize on his behalf and ask everyone to please leave him alone. This whole thing has also set up a heated debate amongst Chinese people about how some of their fellow countrymen really should be mindful about their image overseas. Well, that's it for this China in the News. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more useful Chinese phrases every week.